Paul Paterno. I'm the founder of 1000 Angels. And what 1000 Angels does is it enables both the entrepreneur and local uh, traditional investors here in the Philippines. So let's jump into the big questions. Number one, what is your favorite breakfast? Blueberry muffin. <laughs> what is your morning routine? Picking up my toddler's empty milk bottles and putting them in the sink. What can we find on the home screen of your mobile My My son's picture. <laughs> what music do you listen to while working? Either upbeat, jazz, or classical music. Beer, wine, or whiskey? Wine. Red or white? White. Loyalty or honesty? Honesty. Why? I'd rather that you be upfront and have integrity in all your intentions. Would you rather have no elbows or no knees? Oh my gosh. No elbows, please, because I'm short. So if you take away my knees, I'll be shorter. <laughs> Take long baths. Bubble bath. Bubble bath. Yes. What is one skill you wish you could master? Oh my gosh. Jump high. <laughs> and to think I used to take ballet for the longest time. Yeah. Yeah, I wasn't really a high jumper, so that's my frustration. I don't jump high. I want to go to Bali. I want to direct my own show. And um, I guess I want to scuba dive to, to Bataha. <laughs> yeah, to Bataha. What was your dream job? I wanted to be part of the United Nations refugee group. Like, I wanted to find myself uh, evacuating people coming from war-torn countries. Like, that uh, that action pack uh, ambition. You know? And then I'll be splattered all over CNN, BBC, <laughs> in the daily news. You know? At what time of the day Oh my gosh, I don't think I get work done. <laughs> I am like a tall pile of pending lists. <laughs> what? Typical start of problems. Yes. What cover task are you a part of? Gryffindor. What book has influenced you? I think it would be um, what's that book again? Oh my gosh! Every anusha, deva. It's the tipping point. I love I love the tipping point. Malcolm Gladwell. If you can bring one fictional character to life, who would it be and why? I think it would be. Joe March of Little Women and the Louisa May Alcott set of books because I see myself in her the way how she's trying to pursue her dreams and then she eventually from being like a writer she you know ran an orphanage for boys and you know was a mother to them and then felt her loss for the loss, felt the success of somebody who made good in life. So I see myself so much in Jo March, and if she were alive, I would have loved to meet her. So would you rather change the past or be able to see into the future? Maybe the past, change the past. If you could have dinner with any famous person, If she were alive, 
it would be Audrey Hepburn. Yeah, she's also my favorite. She's also a ballet dancer. She's a ballet dancer. She has class. I really love her fashion sense. And she's so down to earth. So, next question. What is your greatest fear? I guess, um, failure. I, I, I have to be honest. I, I'm so afraid to fail. Even if, like, I'm in a space or in we, we we tell everybody that it's okay to fail we have to pick ourselves up but you know to be honest i'm afraid of failing but you know um it's it's something that um i've uh, i'm learning to accept that we're prone to failing and just have to learn how to get over it so who was your personal hero who's my personal hero growing up Wonder Woman. Yeah, so Wonder Woman. Movie. Yeah. So last question, I borrowed this from a friend. <laughs> what is your hashtag advice for entrepreneurs? Hmm. Hashtag uh, feedback. So what, what do I mean by that feedback? Learn how to be gracious enough and grateful enough to um, get the feedback you need to hear so that you can make the right decisions, you can succeed, you can get the right mentor for you, get the right funder for you, get, get the market to, to love you. So hashtag feedback. Hashtag feedback. Thank you.